Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new gameplay objective in Babu card to review. Uh, this card is someone that was uh, an absolute monster. I think it was like two or three years ago. Like they gave him a flashback card. Was it the flashback that was like crazy overpowered? It might have been, if I remember correctly. Maybe. But he definitely had a year where he was incredible, right? Uh, with this Mbabu card, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot tall, medium high work rates, right footed, four star skills with a three star weak foot. So this is solid for people playing in two different ways, right? So one of the main ways that I see him being used is going to be in the right center back position as well as the right back position too. Because the medium high work rates for a car that is going to be on state back while attacking is pretty decent. Uh, In-game player traits... He has speed dribbler, early crosser, solid player traits, in-game attributes. The card is already go already going to be working with a 99 acceleration with a 99 for sprint speed, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, shooting capability is not really there. This is mostly a defensive card, so no big deal there. Uh, the passing on this card also in a very good area, uh, considering he is a player that is going to be defending for the most part. So it's definitely very solid to have those things on the backbone chemistry style. The dribbling on the card is also in a fantastic area, considering the fact you can rotate him between the right back and the center back position. The way that I see this card actually being used is like this, right? So let's just say, for instance, um, you guys did the Luis Diaz card and you can get that nice little green link to Cancelo because of the new links that they do, right? If you were to do that and you're playing Cancelo in the midfield setup, your two center backs with Mbabu can play as your three center backs in a three back formation, right? So that's food for thought for these types of cards. With Mbabu on the backbone chemistry style, guys, he looks really solid. He has almost perfect defense and almost perfect physicality, considering the fact that he's a six foot tall player with an average body type, right? So this gameplay objective definitely looks like a W for the most part. Uh, we're gonna see how he kind of performs in game uh, in certain areas of the pitch, defensive animations, um, all of that good stuff. But um, yeah, we are mostly going to be using him in a four back formation. This is the four one two and two video that I still use after the patch because honestly, it's still pretty good. So it's going to look like this, right? So the way that my boy has it set up, I guess because of the types of players that he has in the team, he doesn't want to like commit too many guys forward for like the easy counterattacks. But the way that he has it set up from the tactic video that we did, which is the exact same thing, he has the fullbacks to stay back. So we're going to have both of them to stay back. Uh, CDM stay back, cover center. Yes. Yes. And then this one is supposed to be stay forward. A central getting behind. Oh, he, he switched a few things here. Okay, I'm not going to change too much. Then. I'm just going to leave it as it is, but I would change uh, a few things here and there. But yeah, uh, we'll use it just like that. I won't change too much uh, of his team. We'll just use Mbabu in that right back position, test all defensive animations, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's see how he plays in game, man. Hopefully he's a beast. You know what? I'll take the, I'll take the foul. I really will. Especially from kickoff, like... 100%. Gotta take him out, boys. Nice, Iago. Good chip shots. We'll take that. Keep it in. Nice, Mbabu. No, man. By the way, is that push touch is not his fault. That's from me like pressing the right stick to switch the players and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why that animation happens is because I'm controlling the guy. If I'm not controlling the guy, he doesn't do it. Oh, I try to get him on the skill move there. <laughs> oh, come on. And Babu started the play there too, eh? And Babu feels nice so far. He has this like nice feel to him. 
you know? Got the initial block there. Oh, I mistimed that. It would have been good if I actually got the timing there because I probably would have gotten like an easy driven or something. I'll take that. Well done. Oh, go back. Now we're good. We're good. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Is it mine? Oh, sometimes those animation choices, they end up being yours. It's weird. Nice, Yago. Look at that finesse shot from my distance, my boy. Okay, I'm gonna switch off him. He's faster to go back by himself, so. Watch the extra pass here. It's like you want to give them that space so that they don't go into that middle area, you know? Yeah, Iago has this, like, his dribble, like, that push touch that he does when he's under pressure, like, that's a huge no-no. And, like, you ruin a lot of opportunities like that. And this game's defending is so weird for manual stuff. I'll trigger. Nice. At least is well positioned for the pass off. Why are these not possession based, man? You know what I was afraid of? I was afraid that he was going to do a time shot. Because I knew... I You you can never know. You can never know if it's going to do the time shot or not. Because it, the game chooses when it wants to cancel the animation or not. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Millie Talon, the best defender in the game. My God. What did I just see, dude? Oh, get it. I don't know what's happening. Good to go. Sure, we'll take that. He's going to leave from that, right? Yeah. Until... Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new footies in Babu card. So this is a very solid card to get 100%, especially if you're making like the Bundesliga teams. Uh, he's very, very solid to use in this game. I like the variable of being able to use him in both of the positions, right? I like being able to switch him into that right center back position, uh, into the right back position, play, being played as one of the center backs, depending on how your team is lined up, because some people... They'll use someone like Mbappe, who doesn't need extra chemistry links, uh, on seven chemistry CDM position in the center back area because they just use them up top anyway. So you can switch Mbappe into that center back area if you really, really want to. Uh, with this card on the backbone chemistry style, you do improve the passing quite a bit. If you really want to improve the defense in certain areas, you could give him a Sentinel, but it just doesn't really make a ton of sense. I mean, you, you could, but... 
I think for general experience when it comes to defense, the only main thing that you're going to notice here is going to be in the defensive awareness part, right? So uh, I guess it could be something that you could improve on the card, but I do feel like a backbone chemistry style is perfectly fine. Um, the way that this card performs in game is that he feels very physical oriented, which is not a problem whatsoever because, you know, with a card like this, your main focus is for him to be a good defensive player. So if I was using the 4-1-2-2 two two like I normally would, He's the stay back, right back. My left back would be someone that can pretty much push forward whenever I can. Um, and then I would just basically go from there, right? Uh, the card is very, very solid for gameplay objective. Body type works really well. His defensive animations does a really good job. I was even kind of testing kind of being behind and then chasing after. The chase after is really good for full meta cards like Cancelo. Like Cancelo is an absolute monster, right? And Babu a little bit more physical oriented, but that's the type of stuff that you want to test out and see. Uh, in regards to how the cards perform in game. But yeah, as a gameplay objective, I enjoyed using him. I think for the right back position, he might be the best right back. To be fair, Danny DaCosta's card, this one right here, is really good too. So I'm not like completely like on one or the other because this Danny DaCosta card performs really well. Like you have to remember that this card is a four star weak foot, right? So with Mbabu, He's a four-star skill move. So sometimes people prefer the weak foot over the skill moves. And Dain Costa is also someone who's high, high, right? So if you still have that card, still a great card to use in the game. Uh, but let's see here. So right back position, uh, Bundesliga. Okay. So we have Guerrero. Never really tried Guerrero. Didn't really care too much, to be honest. Okay. The rest of these right backs, I don't really care about, right? So the two main ones is Dain Costa and Mbabu. And that's going to completely depend on what type of play style you want the most. In those areas. Adara came out too, but I, I don't know. I don't know what he's like at all. I haven't tried him out. Adara, what does he have? Oh, lean body type. So, so the physical won't be as crazy. And pace split is kind of weird too. So you'd have to give him a shadow. Because pace is super important in this game. So but he looks decent, to be fair. Lean body type kind of it kind of gives you this situation where you can actually use him as a right mid. Yeah, you can use this card as a right mid and actually give him like a hunter chemistry style if you really wanted to because he has some defensive stats, so you use him as a right mid. But all three of these cards, they're different in their own way. So for the type of player that Mbabu is with his medium high work rates, the way that his body type works and stuff, he is unique in his own way to a Diana Costa who's a high high. Who's better than the other? Uh, not too far off each other. Honestly, Diana Costa with a four star weak foot is really nice to work with, but it's really going to depend on what links that you need. So let's see with Mbabu links. <clears throat> okay, so Lacroix, honestly, if you still use this card, he's still pretty decent to use. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> he's still okay. Kohler is uh, not too bad defensively. I didn't mind using him. This is the first time I actually tried him out. Um, there's no crazy strong links with Mbabu, so you actually need... Yeah, there's no, there's no crazy strong links. So, <laughs> So's card when he first came out was amazing. You could still use him nowadays, to be fair. Wow, if you still have the So card, you can get that Swiss link with him. That's pretty That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, the rest of it is like soft links, though. So Diana Costa does give you better links. But if you can fit in Babu and the team, depending on the links you can work with, not too bad. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.